since the OR closed August 18th, we have, we no longer, a lot of people don't realize that we no longer have OB services. And a lot of people don't realize the implications for that. Why, just because we don't have OR, we don't have OB, if you're gonna have a normal vaginal delivery. Well, we can't labor a patient in the labor and delivery room not knowing that they might need an emergency C-section. So we've had, that's been, that's had a large impact on our community. We've got folks that have talked to us that said, we, we don't know if we can get a ride to Duncan or to Oklahoma City or Norman. So that's, that's one facet of it. Another facet is the, our transfers. Typically we transfer out of our emergency department in our hospital roughly 40 to 45 patients a month. The last three months we've doubled that rate. So that means that that impacts the community. It impacts you and, you and I. If uh, we only have two crews on our ambulance service and if one of them is gone to a transfer to Oklahoma City, that means there's only one ambulance available to to, to, trans, to make calls, to emergency calls. So if you're the second emergency on a day that the ambulance is out to Oklahoma City, then you're gonna have to wait. Wear and tear on the EMS also costs taxpayers money. So that's why it's important for all of us to get out on February the 9th and vote yes for this quarter cent sales tax.